Hello everyone, it's your buddy Sven here once again coming at you with another Hearthstone video. Now today I'm going to be talking about how to hit Legendary in Hearthstone. As you guys can see, I'm ranked 13 up there, and we're going to go ahead and get into some ranked gameplay real quick here. I am I just wanted to talk about my three tips on hitting Legend. I may not have hit Legend before, but I understand how to. I unfortunately just don't have the time available to do that. So I'm going to go over my three steps for hitting Legendary. Um, I'm just really excited to talk about it. So tip number one is to be comfortable with what you play. Whether or not that's Secret Paladin or you're playing a basic mage deck, whatever you want to do, be comfortable with the deck you play. For me, I've always enjoyed Paladin, and I've taken a real affinity for the Secret Paladin style. And if I take a break real quick, it's just because I'm thinking out a move here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mulligan these two. But... <clears throat> What I mean by get comfortable and be comfortable with your deck is to understand what it's capable of. You're not going to gain a whole lot just from randomly playing what's strong. Now, tip number two is don't worry about your losses. Losses can put people on what's called tilt, which is basically where they make a lot of mistakes because they're angry or they're upset. Whatever the case is, don't let that get to you. It doesn't define you as a player to just be upset about something. That's awfully unfortunate. But it doesn't define you as a player if you lose a few times. Frankly, everyone loses a few times. The pros lose a few times. It's okay to lose. The fact of the matter is, in order to climb the ladder, you need about a 48% win rate. Now, that means that you, even if you lose more than half your games, you will climb. That is a really good thing to know because it puts your losses in perspective. Imagine if you went for a 75% win rate or something like that. You'd be climbing the ladder like crazy if all you need to do is get 48 to actually consistently climb. Because when you factor in on that third one and above, you start earning two stars for your victories. It is really, really important to just understand where you are in that ladder scheme. And what we're going to do is just going to play two secrets. Dos Secretos. Now, the third tip I can give you guys is time is better than success. Time will allow you to climb the ladder. That just means play a lot of games over a long period of time. It'll give you the most opportunity to climb the ladder and hit that legendary rank. And the reason I put time above all of this, the reason I believe that tip number three, even though I don't really have a particular order to these, the reason I think tip number three would probably be the most important is just because a lot of people just undervalue how much time you can put into this game and how important it is overall. Time is going to be a big, big thing for you guys. Time is actually better than your ratio. Even if you sacrifice 10% of your wins, but you play 50 more games, that's overall much better. To be brutally honest, it actually is a lot better. So those are my top three tips, really. Uh, so be comfortable, don't worry about losses, and time will, be, will shine through a little bit more than success will. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and narrate these games from here. So, you know, obviously what's going on in the background here, I've got a shielded mini bot, just took care of his totem golem, got a shredder out, and yeah, this is my secret paladin deck, this is what I've been using to climb. Your deck choice doesn't particularly matter too much when you're climbing the legend. Uh, Trump has said that you could take a basic deck very far. Frankly, it's going to be okay. That's actually ideal for me because I get to do this now. Dr. Six, baby. We'll get the Shredder on face, and the reason I do that is because I can't kill Unbound Elemental, and there's no reason to sacrifice it on a 1 1. Yes, but hitting Legend is more of a mindset than anything. To be brutally honest, it's more of a mindset, and it's more of the time that you throw in. I was kind of hoping he would hit Shredder there. I can clear his Unbound, though, if he doesn't overload more this turn. He seems to be playing an Overload Shaman deck, though, because he's playing Unbound Elemental. I'm, I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen a Tunnel Trog at this point, but it's perfectly okay. I think we're in a very advantageous situation here, especially because of the fact we have Lay on Hands. And we have our second Mysterious Challenger, which is always good. Alright, yeah, he's going to get the 4 damage on face, and he's going to unfortunately hex my Mysterious Challenger here. That is really unfortunate for me, but then the nice thing about him hexing is I actually can now attack with that hex. 
Now, the unfortunate thing here is... Ooh, actually, let's go ahead and see if we can get something off here. We'll play Coghammer. All right, that's actually not too bad a target. Now, let's go ahead and take a look here. I, I want to see what I can do. I'm going to Coghammer the Healing Totem because this is going to increase my odds of using Juggler and my Hero Power to get that one little knife on Unbound Elemental. And knowing me, that's not going to happen. Now, I'm going to ignore Unbound Elemental here because we can apply a lot of pressure directly to his face. I don't want to throw a lot at that Unbound Elemental at the moment because I have a lot of field pressure here. And if anything gets super crazy, I can lay on hands next turn. This deck is very, very safe. I would recommend Secret Paladin if you really just want to climb the ladder. If that's all you're looking to do, play Secret Paladin. Ah, Dire Wolf Alpha. That actually works out really well in my favor. Okay, Whirling Zapomatic, it won't save him here. And I have the means to actually win this. I'm not going to BM him. Give him the well played. But yeah, overall, you know, you stay calm, have fun with the game. Having fun is the most important thing. It's a game at the end. You may want to climb leaderboards, but it is just a game. So anywho, those have been my three tips for Legend. It's it's honestly a lot easier than people may think. Just devote the time and be comfortable and be confident. If you have all of those three aspects, you're going to climb the leaderboards actually really fast. And, you know, just remember me when you guys go off and hit Legend. Anywho, if you like what you saw in this video, please hit the like button down below. It helps me out so very much. And if you want to see Hearthstone videos every Saturday where I'm going to be documenting my ranked play, and I'm going to be discussing that Legend Climb a little bit more because I'm making that Legend Climb myself. If that interests you, hit the big red button down below, subscribe to my channel, and you'll see my videos the moment they come out. Anywho, this has been Sven. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.